Good day. I'm Ray. I'm an amateur radio operator. And one of the questions that I often get from friends and colleagues is, what does the word simplex and repeater mean when you're talking on a radio? Well, let's take a look. In radio terminology, you will often hear the term simplex or repeater. These terms are usually spoken as in, do you want to go simplex or I'll meet you on the repeater. Let's look at both of these starting with simplex operation mode first. We have two radios side by side. They're at the beach. We'll call them Bob and Dave. They're just a few feet apart and can easily transmit and receive to each other. This is the typical mode of most walkie-talkie radios. So Dave decides he wants to go down the beach about a mile and because Bob and Dave can still see each other, they will have no trouble communicating with each other in simplex mode. It's the simplest form of direct communications. The rule of thumb for simplex is, if you can see it, you can talk to it. The use of simplex is also most common when talking to someone in your local neighborhood or local area. So simplex is mostly used for local area communications. Now let's look at repeaters. At the end of the day, Bob and Dave drive to their respective homes about 50 miles apart. They'd like to talk on the radio from home, but the distance is great and a large mountain is in the way. We'll use this map in Southern California for our example. Bob lives in Orange County on the left, and Dave lives in Riverside County on the right. Because of both the distance and the mountain in the way, there is no chance that the two radios can reach each other in simplex mode. This is a case where we would use a repeater. The repeater is a relay station that repeats the transmitted radio signal in real time. It's a relay station. You can see repeater antennas on high-rise buildings, tall antenna towers, or mountaintops, and it just depends on what's available in the area that will accommodate a repeater station and antenna. In our illustration, we have a repeater on Santiago Peak at almost 5,700 feet or 1,700 meters. It's a big mountain. Bob is transmitting from his handheld radio at his home up to the repeater on Santiago Peak. The signal is received by the repeater on Santiago Peak and retransmitted on a slightly different frequency. Dave in Riverside is listening to the Santiago Peak repeater on his radio and is able to hear clearly Bob's transmission. When it's Dave's turn to transmit, the exact same process happens in reverse. Dave's signal from his radio is received by the high elevation repeater station on Santiago Peak and retransmitted so that Bob's radio in Orange County can hear the repeated transmission that Santiago Peak is transmitting. This all happens in real time. Here's something important to remember when using a repeater. Anyone within listening range of that repeater will hear you, so that means that a lot of people are probably listening. It's a good idea to know the radio etiquette before you transmit. So always listen before transmitting. If you listen to others on the air, you'll hear how it's done. Well, now you know what simplex and repeater means when you hear it on the radio. Please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Also leave some comments down below. I'll catch you next time.